Hey guys, Zoid here and welcome to this short video on a uh, solution to your UE4 crash which is uh, a new issue which we are facing in Mana Lords, the game. So I'm going to be showing you how we can fix it. It's a potential fix. It can work, it cannot work, but yeah, just give it a try and see if it works. Uh, also, uh, this solution is already posted on Steam. So you can check that out. I'm going to be making a video on it. So all credit goes to the poster of the Steam. I'll mention the link in the description as well. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, what we need to do is open the file explorer like so. You go to C drive. Now if we go to users, I know it is mentioned that we have to go to app data local and manual lots, but first we need to locate app data. So for that purpose, we go to users after C drive. We find the username. This is my username. Uh, this can be different for you. So you yeah, find your username and uh, open it. Now find a folder called app data. So I have this here. If you don't have this here, you just need to uh, change the visibility. So you go to view, go to show and make sure that hidden, hidden items is checked. So yeah. Once this is done, you go to app data, then you go to local. Uh, you find a folder called Manor Lords, which is the game. If uh, it is sorted for you by alphabets, it is easy for you to locate. So here is Manor Lords. You're saved. Then you go to save games. Oh, uh, my bad. You go to config. You go to Windows No Editor then you need to find a file called settings which should be down here settings okay so uh, as per the reports the thing causing the crash mainly is uh, fsr is on by default for manual loads so once we delete this line or this uh, setting manual loads should be able to run just fine so go ahead and delete this FSR like so make sure to delete the FSR and leave this setting as it is you do not need to delete the entire line so then go to file you go to save close it out and have a go at Mana Lords and see if it launches for you so it is already launched it was already launching for me in FSR but yeah if you want to test you can test it out like that to see if it launches for you or not. We'll wait for the game to load. As you can see, my game is loading up fine. Everything is working. So yeah, that is how you can fix the UE4 crash, which has a long code, which I'm not mentioning, but it is like a lot of zeros followed by an X18C which is the code you'll get once you get the crash. So just keep that in notice. And for more guides, follow the channel, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.